Hi, this is Xtal. In today's tutorial, we'll create a dynamic checkered effect in Touch Designer using noise as the base input. I hope this walkthrough helps you better understand node operations and sparks some creative inspiration. Start by adding a noise top to serve as the base for the checkered effect. Change the noise type to Simplex 4D and fine-tune the parameters to control the density and movement of the pattern. Add abstime.seconds to the translate 4D parameter to animate the noise over time. This creates smooth continuous movement based on the global timeline. Bring in an LFO node to modulate the scale Y value of the noise. Reference the LFO to the scale Y parameter of the noise using chop export. This allows the vertical dimension of the pattern to animate smoothly over time. Bring in a composite top to combine noise 1 and the upcoming noise 2. Set the operation to subtractive to highlight the contrast between the two noise patterns. After connecting noise 2 to the composite top, Adjust the parameters similarly to how you set up Noise 1. Create and adjust an LFO CHOP for noise 2, then reference it to the scale X parameter to generate horizontal movement. Next, create another comp top to recombine noise 1 and noise 2, blending horizontal and vertical patterns seamlessly. Add another comp top, set the operation to a top, and visually layer noise 1 over noise 2. Create a switch top and connect Comp 1, Comp 2, Comp 3, as well as Noise 1 and Noise 2. This allows you to toggle between different checkered patterns from a single output. 
It's especially useful for testing variations during visual development. Set up an LFO chop and link it to the index parameter of the switch. This enables automatic cycling through the patterns creating dynamic visual variation. Connect a ramp top and add color points to craft the desired palette for the checker pattern. This step plays a key role in defining the overall tone of the visual. Link an LFO node to the phase and period parameters of the ramp. This controls the animation speed and periodic movement of the checker pattern. By connecting an LFO node to the phase and period parameters of the ramp, the checker pattern's colors and animation will change dynamically over time. The phase parameter shifts the color pattern's position over time, while the period controls the frequency of color transitions. This results in the colors and position of the checker pattern cycling at regular intervals, creating a rhythmic and visually engaging effect. To make the pattern appear more checkered, reconnect LFO1 to the scale X parameter of noise 2. This will cause the horizontal movement of the checker pattern to fluctuate rhythmically according to LFO1, resulting in a more defined and consistent checkered effect. To overlay a semi-transparent circular shape on top of the checker effect, create and connect a circle top. This circle serves as a visual accent, and adjusting its opacity ensures it blends smoothly with the background pattern. Next, connect a comp top to blend in a hazy translucent effect using the ramp top. 
set the comp operation to outside luminance to create a soft glow around the circle based on brightness adding a foggy diffused overlay. Change the ramp top type to circular and link input values to animate the radial gradient smoothly over time. By adjusting the color points, you can achieve a soft translucent glow that spreads in a dreamy and atmospheric way. To add a bright background, use an over. Connect the checkered effect to the first input and a constant top to the second to layer a background color behind the pattern. This enhances contrast and lets you easily shift the overall mood by adjusting the background color. Add a level top to fine tune the overall color tone of the composition. Use parameters like brightness, contrast and gamma to precisely balance the visual output. To prepare for output, connect a resolution top, an out top and finally a movie file out top in sequence. The resolution top ensures consistent resolution, the out top displays the result and the movie file out top allows you to export the final effect. To finish, I noticed the rough texture of the noise doesn't blend well with the checkered pattern, so I fine-tune its parameters for a smoother look. I adjusted parameters like period and roughness to smooth out the pattern. And that's how we created the checkered motion effect. The beauty of Touch Designer lies in how different combinations lead to endless possibilities. I encourage you to follow along and adjust the parameters to suit your own style, creating a unique effect along the way. The process itself is a rewarding experience. While creating this tutorial, I worked with the mindset that one video could be a turning point in someone's career, creativity, or life. I hope it inspires others, and I'll be back with the next video. You can find the effect files for this project on my Patreon. Thank you so much for your support, and see you next time.